your generosity. Good morning, church, and welcome to our service. If you just joined us, we're going to get straight into God's Word today. If you have your Bibles, won't you turn with me to the book of Acts chapter 27 and verse 22. Acts chapter 27 and verse 22. I'm so pumped up to preach today's message. I'm just believing that the anointing is going to come to you wherever you are, through the airwaves, uh, through the uh, connectivity, whichever way, but I'm believing that the anointing of God is going to come straight to you in your homes or wherever you are tuning in from. Acts chapter 27 and verse 22 says, But take courage, none of you will lose your lives, even though the ship will go down. For last night, an angel of the Lord, to whom I belong and whom I serve, stood beside me. Isn't that such an awesome part of scripture here? That even though Paul was in a circumstance, even though that Paul was in a situation, we see that it says that God was standing right there beside him. Aren't you so glad today that the Holy Spirit is with you? That God Almighty is beside you? That no matter what you may be faced with, no matter where you find yourself, I know that 2020 wasn't a great year. In actual fact, I know that 2020 wasn't the best year that you have ever had. And 2020 was actually a year full of mess, a year full of situations and challenges and hurdles. But nevertheless, I thank God for His Word. And like we see here with Paul, that God is with us. God is standing beside us in every season. He says here, don't be afraid, Paul, for you will surely stand trial before Caesar. You know, it's so, it's so good, even as we see in the scripture, he's telling us that, that regardless of what we go through, regardless of what we are faced with, that we will still get through it. He says to Paul, Paul, don't be afraid. Because Paul, you will still go and you will still stand trial what he's saying to him is that you're going to make it through and get through to the other side of this situation you're going to get through the other side of this great storm this was no ordinary storm this was not just one of those drizzles it was not just one of those light winds this was a serious storm this was a storm that was going to change their lives but we see that God gives Paul a word I came to give you a word in the season to tell you that you're going to make it through onto the other side. You're going to get your victory. I'm, I'm telling you today that this word is for somebody to say that the struggles you have been through, it is only for a season and you're going to get through on the other side with victory. Come on, somebody say amen to that. He says, what's more? God is in His goodness, has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. So take courage, for I believe God. I will be just as He said, but we will be shipwrecked on an island. I mean, the ending, it's talking about a catastrophe. It's talking about something that uh, we don't want to experience. It's talking about something like 2020. 2020 had been one of those most difficult times. But I thank God that we have made it. I want to speak to you for a few moments today from the thought, you've made it. Come on, tell somebody, if you're near somebody, tell them you've made it. You know, at the end of 2020, as we went into 2021, I began to speak to myself and I said to myself, you've made it. I want to tell you today that 
that you've made it through 2020. You've made it through those difficult times. You've made it through the lockdowns. You made it through the time of loss and difficulty. The time, there were times you thought that you were not going to make it. There were times that you thought that you were going to fail. There were times that you had so much of mess all around you. There were times that you thought that you were going to throw in the towel. But I thank God that you made it. You made it. It's 2021 and you had made it. You've made it. That's the word of God today that you have made it. Let us pray before we continue in God's word today. Father, we come to you in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for your word today, that your word speak to us, your word encourage us. Lord, I pray, Father, that we receive fresh revelation. Lord, I pray that the mysteries of your word be revealed to us. Lord, we thank you, Father, that you are in our midst. We thank you, Lord, that you minister to us. Lord, we lift up your name on high, for you are majesty, you are great, you are an amazing God. God, you are awesome. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, that you are a good, good father and that your eyes are constantly over your children. And so, Lord, we give you praise this morning. We lift up your name on high in Jesus' name. And all of God's people said, Amen. And all of God's people said, Amen. Come on, let's give the Lord a good praise offering wherever you are this morning. Come on, lift up the name of Jesus for a few seconds. Won't you put up an emoji with your hands raised up? Uh, won't you put up something, a comment, and just begin to praise Him for a few moments this morning? Because He's a good, good Father, and He has brought you through some most difficult times. You've made it. It's 2021, and we are in the second month of 2021 and you've made it. I'm so thankful to God that you've made it. It says here, what's more, God in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. It's quite amazing that God will say to Paul that everyone in the ship, everyone that's sailing with you, Paul, will be saved. Isn't it quite amazing? Uh, you know, I always, I always look around for some anointed people to get in touch with. I always look, look around for some anointed people to, to look up to and to speak into my life because I know for uh, in the times that I am down, in the times that I can't pray, in the times that I feel low, I know that as long as I am connected to somebody with the anointing, I know that I will be lifted up. I know that I will be encouraged. I know that in my down moments, as long as I am connected to somebody with the anointing, that something has to happen in my life. And we see here that because Paul, the man of God, the apostle of God, was on the ship, that the word of the Lord came to Paul and said that Paul, that no one on the ship will die. Everyone will be saved. That tells me that when we surround ourselves with anointed people that there is something that takes place in our lives. There is an impartation. There is an anointing that gets transferred from others. So when you are down, connect to an anointed person. When you are down and feeling like uh, uh, feeling discouraged and disappointed, won't you speak to somebody that has the anointing because they'll speak into your life and that anointing will bring something different over your life. So good to find some anointed people. And I know that's what I love about Urban Light Church. There's an anointing here, which means that when people get connected, when people get connected to Urban Light Church, there's an anointing that's over this house that comes upon their lives. I'm so excited about that anointing. And every person that is tuning in today, that anointing is coming upon your life today. And I know that God is going to do something something powerful. I know that God is going to do something amazing. I know that God is going to do something great. I know that God is going to do something miraculous in your life. Romans chapter 8 and verse 37, it says, no, 
despite all these things, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Not, uh, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. You know, you didn't just go through it for nothing. You didn't just go through the struggles for nothing. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of Christ. There is nothing on this planet. There is nothing above nor beneath. There's no, there's no worries about tomorrow. There's no thoughts about today. There is nothing that can separate us from the love of Christ. And you may think that uh, 2020 was a difficult year. But you have made it and nothing that happened in 2020 will stop you from reaching the purpose and the destiny that God has for your life. I believe that even as you continue pushing forward, even as you continue moving forward, that you will step into everything that God has for your life. Because there is nothing that can separate you from the love of God and the, and the purpose and the intention and the hope that God has has for your life there's nothing that can separate us from that we didn't just get through this God did something that we must acknowledge God did something amazing that in the times that we thought that we were not going to make it in 2020, we actually made it. We got here to 2021 and I believe that our best days are ahead of us. The be your best days are not behind you, but your best days are coming and are ahead of you. The best is yet to come. God is about to do something supernatural. Like I've been saying that there is some limit that are lifted up in 2021. There is a cap that is lifted up in 2021 and God is releasing His supernatural power over your life, over your family. There are some doors that will open in 2021. There are some miracles that are going to take place in 2021. Aren't you thankful that God is in control? What the enemy meant for bad, God is going to turn that around and turn it for good. Now I want you to look back for a minute. I want you to look back at 2020 and see what the Lord has brought you through. There were times you thought that you were not going to make it, but God brought you through. You see, you know, I, I know it's amazing to, to get the trophy. I know it's amazing to stand on that podium and receive the trophy, but there is always a story behind the trophy. There's always some battles behind the trophy. There's there's always some pain behind the trophy. I know you may be in your purpose, but the thing is that when you look back before you could get to your purpose, before you could step into everything that God had for your life, there had to be some pain. There had to be some scars. And so 2020 is like one of those years. But I can tell you this, that God has just used 2020 as a classroom. He's used 2020. He's used used it to build some stamina and some strength in your life because there will come a time where you may go through some even greater struggles but because you went through the classroom you made it through and you were able to build something strong inside of you to get your victory that God wants for your life. I know some people are saying, but my marriage, I don't know about that. It didn't make it through. But you they, you, if you just look and you will see that you are still with your spouse. If you look back in 2020, yes, you lost, you may have lost your job, but you still got your joy because the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. I want to tell you that God will turn your mourning into dancing, that even though so 
sorrow may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. There is a joy that's coming in your life. Uh, there is some dancing that is about to come into your life in 2021. You didn't go through all those struggles for nothing. It was not just so that you can go through it for the sake of going through it, but what God did is that God did a miracle in your life. And you got through the other side with victory. You got through the other side. You still make it, made it. You still standing in 2021. And until the purpose that God has for your life is fulfilled, uh, God is not going to stop there. God is not going to stop building in your life. God is not going to stop strengthening into your life. God is going to keep on working until he has fulfilled what he needs to fulfill in your life. Here we see in Acts 27, we find that Paul is imprisoned. The Roman government have imprisoned him. Now Paul is a citizen of the Roman government. So that means he, is a, he, he has the ability to go to Rome and to face Caesar. He is, has the ability to go and stand trial in Rome as a citizen. So they put him on a ship and they are sending him and transporting him to Rome for trial. Now Paul warns uh, the guys on the ship. He warns them in advance and tells them that there is a storm that is coming and that there is going to be a great wreckage. But they don't believe Paul. They actually look at Paul like he has lost his mind. Uh, but the thing is that when you look at the storm, so many people, if you had to see a storm like this, you may have lost hope. But Paul, he has a word from the Lord and he is standing on that word. You have a word from the Lord uh, that this year is the year of God's release. You have a word from the Lord to say that the limitations are coming off. You have a word from the Lord to say that the cap is coming off. You have a word from the Lord to say that there is great breakthroughs that are coming into your life in 2021. If you would just be expectant, if you would just have faith for it, you will see what God is going to do. Now Paul he had, he had experienced some things. He had learned some things while he had went through this experience and even on this journey. I want to look at these, uh, uh, these lessons uh, that Paul had learned and had found even through this journey. I want you to write down. I'm going to give you three things today to write down. Won't you write these down? Write down number one. Some things, these are things that we have learned from Paul's experience. Now, Number one, I found friends that feed me. Paul had found friends that had fed him. I know that we were socially distanced. I know that we were isolated and quarantined and we could not join our friends and our family for a long time. But Paul, in this scripture, we see in Acts 27 and verse 3, the next day when we docked at Sidon, Julius was very kind to Paul and let him go ashore to visit with friends so they could provide for his needs. Amazing that the Bible would take time to mention this guy Julius. That this guy Julius is, you know, if we think about it for a moment, the same guy that was Paul's captor is the same one that Paul has favor with and the same one that allows Paul to go and visit his friends that he would get, uh, that they would meet his needs. You see, it was in the situation. It was in this difficult moment that Paul would meet his friends uh, that would provide his needs. Uh, you see, you find your real friends when you go through a struggle. You find your real friends when you are in a circumstance. You find your real friends when you go through something. You find a, your real friends when you go through a season of nothing. That's when you find your real friends. You see, Paul, he finds his friends that actually feed him in the darkest moment. You see, this wasn't like a Paul and Silas moment in the inner, inner court prison. This was actually 
on a ship in the, uh, uh, under, under the bow. This was a, a dark prison that Paul had found himself. But even in there, we see that he has friends that, that are there to feed him. He has friends that are there to meet his need. Uh, I found friends that feed me. You see, when you locked up, it's hard to find people. It's hard to find people that will be there for you in a season of nothing. But you see, the thing is that you need to have the right friends around you. You see, when you are in the darkest moment, that's when you will see who your real friends are. And you need to have some real anointed friends. You need to have some friends that are so anointed that in the times that you can't pray, that they are, they are not looking for anything from you, but they will pray pray for you. They will give you a word in season. They will encourage you. They will stand by you in the season. That's the type of friends that you need in the darkest moments. Paul found his real friends that would feed him in the time where he, when he is incarcerated, in the time where he is about to go and stand trial. That's when he finds his real friends. You see, when you find your real friends, they will be there in your darkest moments. They are not just there to see what they can get out of your relationship, but they will be there to give you a word in season. They will be there. They will tell you how it is. They will not only tell you everything that is all... Uh, flowery for your life. They will not just tell you. They will not just uh, speak into your ego. That they will, when you are wrong, they will tell you that you are wrong. When you need to be rebuked, they will be rebuked and you will appreciate it. That's a type of friends that we need in our lives. We need friends that will speak into our lives. You see, the Word of God says that we ought, to, uh, we ought to ask God for forgiveness. We need to speak our sin, confess our sins unto God and He will forgive us. But the Bible says that we need to confess our sins one to another and we will be healed. You see, you confess your sins to God to be forgiven and you confess your sins to man to be healed. And so we have, we have lots of Christians that are forgiven, but we have so many that aren't healed. That's why we need the right people in our lives that we are able to speak to, that people will be able to encourage us, people will be able to walk with us, people will be able to bring healing in our lives, people that we trust, people that have been sent by God into our lives. That's why we need some good friends. You need to find a good friend. You need to find a good friend or friends, some anointed people that will speak the word of God in your life. At the times that you can't pray, they'll be praying for you. At the times that you can't read the word of God and you're feeling down and disappointed and discouraged, they will be speaking the word of God in your life. There is something that takes place in your life. I know in 2020 that there were some friends that reached out to me and they were some good friends. There were some great friends that spoke the word of God in my life, that encouraged me, that spoke positivity in my life, that spoke words of faith in my life, that had encouraged me. There were some moments where I didn't think that things were going to go so well, but the right person said the right thing in the right moment, and it uplifted my spirit, and it carried me through in that moment. You see, you will find your friends. If you look back in 2020, you would have realized by now who was your real friends in 2020. And even in 2021, you know who the real people are that you need in your life moving forward. Character, I want to give you some characteristics uh, of provision friends. Write this down. Friends who will pray with you when their own situation is messed up. Isn't that so amazing? That even though your friends may be going through a struggle, but they are still willing to pray with you. They are still willing to stand with you. Friends who know how to listen to you without trying to fix you. Uh, don't we all need friends that don't just want to tell us what to do and how we should be, but they will actually listen to, to the way that we are feeling. They will listen to our needs. Friends who will refresh you 
you, not frustrate you. Friends who will, uh, who are loyal. I want to go back to the last one. Friends who, uh, who will refresh you, not frustrate you. Have, have you ever been around some people? They just frustrate you. You see, they, they suck up all the energy from inside of you. We don't need friends like that. But we need friends that will refresh us in our difficult times and in our darkest moments. Friends who are loyal beyond uh, when, when there isn't anyone else, when everyone leaves you, but the one that will be loyal to you up until the end, that even in your moment where you are down and out and everyone has left you and you are all alone, but they will still stand with you. Friends who cover you, but not cover it up. That's so powerful. We want friends that will cover us, but not will cover, cover it up. They will speak healing in our lives. They will speak, uh, uh, they will speak correction in our lives. That's the type of friends that we need. Everyone needs friends who double your joy and ease your pain. That is so powerful. Everyone needs friends who double your joy and ease your pain. Those, that is true friends. So we see that Paul, he finds friends that will feed him. Number two, I found that God's presence is with me. Even in the season of nothing, Paul found that God's presence is with him. We see in Acts 27 and verse 23, it says, For last night an angel of the Lord, to whom I belong and whom I serve, stood beside me and he said, Don't be afraid, Paul, for you will surely stand trial before Caesar. What's more, God in his goodness has granted safety to everyone sailing with you. Isn't that so powerful? And whom I serve stood beside me. The God whom I serve has stood beside me. I found that God's presence is with me. I realize that in 2020, even though it may have been a season of nothing, but God was with me and he brought me through 2020, uh, 2020 into 2021. Yes, you may have gone through some struggles in 2020. You may have gone through some challenges, but uh, the Lord was with you. Yes, you may feel like nothing was happening, but the Lord was you with you and God had brought you through it. God had carried you through it because his presence was with you. I like what the Bible says. The Bible says that when the enemy comes like a flood, that the Lord will raise up a standard. The Lord will raise up a standard against the enemy. You see, what happens is that in our darkest moments, God will raise up a standard. In your darkest challenges, in your most difficult moments, God raises up a standard against the enemy. The enemy thought that he could take you out, but but God was with you. And if my God is with me, who can ever be against me? I thank God for his word that says that God will never leave you nor forsake you. God is with you through your most difficult moments. I found God. I found God. I found that God's presence is with me. God's presence is with you. The Holy Spirit is dwelling inside of you. God's presence is with you. Write this down. Peace is not the absence of pain, but it's the presence of the one who is in the boat with you the whole time. You see, peace is not the absence of pain. There will be pain. There will be difficulties. There will be challenges and storms, but it's not about the difficulties. It's not about having peace in there. It's about having the right person in the boat, and his name is Jesus. You see Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they had their friends, and when they were in the, in the furnace, they were in the fire, and we see that even though they had their buddies, even even though that they had their friends uh, with them. But the thing is that they, they needed the fought man. It was the fought man in the fire that brought peace over their lives to know that God is in control. You see, the fought man is with you. His name is Jesus. He is with you. And because he is with you, there is no enemy that can come against you. That's the God that we serve. His presence is with you. 
Paul found that God's presence was with him, even in the storm, that the Holy Spirit was with him. The presence of God was with him. I want to encourage somebody today that you came through 2020 because of the presence of God. And even in 2021, you're going to still make it. You're going to still get your victory and your breakthrough because God's presence is with you. This is a prophetic word today. The presence of God is with you. This is, uh, this is word that I'm speaking over your life, that the presence of God is with you. You see, you realize something. You realize that even as you had gone through 2020, that there were things that you never thought that you would be able to do, that in actual fact, you managed to conquer in your life. There were some things that you learned in 2020. I learned so much in 2020. I learned to, I learned to be a lawyer in 2020 because I needed to litigate my, mo my emotions. I learned to be a counselor in 2020 because the thing thing is that I needed to speak it to myself in my darkest times and my darkest moments when I had sleepless nights. I needed to counsel myself to say that you're going to make it. You're going to get through. You are a child of the most high God and God is in control. You see, some of you, those, those of you that are parents, you actually, some of you are professors now because you learn to homeschool your kids. You learn to teach your children. You you see, some of you, you had to learn. Some of you became IT technicians because you had to upgrade your internet and you had to learn about connectivity so that you could get the internet working and Wi-Fi working in your homes. You had to learn something. You see, 2020 was not a year of catastrophe, but it was a classroom that it was that, we're, that even as we had made it through 2020 and had entered into 2021, that we will be able able to conquer some great obstacles because the Lord had taken us through a classroom so that we can conquer some giants that will come up in our lives in the seasons to come. Paul says, I have found the presence of God with me. The presence of God is with you. You see, it's great to have friends and it's so important to have the presence of God with us. But the thing is that, can I encourage uh, Urban Light today and uh, all those that are tuning in, can I encourage you? you got to stay in the fight. Don't quit now. It's too soon to quit now. Stay in the fight because your victory is coming. You're going to step into the purpose and the destiny that God has for your life. 2020 was not for nothing. It is not a catastrophe because you're going to step into the purpose and the destiny that God has for your life. I found friends that will feed me. And I found the presence of God with me. Write down number three today and my final point as I get ready to close. I found that nothing can stop me. I found that nothing can stop me. Here is Paul. In Acts 27 and verse 42, it says the soldiers wanted to kill the prisoners to make sure they didn't swim ashore and escape. But the commanding officer wanted to spare Paul so he didn't let them carry out their plan. Then he ordered all who could swim to jump overboard first and make for land. The others held onto the planks or the debris from the broken ship so everyone escaped safely to shore. You see, uh, the enemy thought that he can use the storm to kill Paul. The enemy thought that he can use the storm to, to bring destruction into Paul's life. And the enemy thought that he could take you out in 2020. The enemy thought that he could, he could bring you to a place of being broken, bring you to a place of brokenness, bring you to a place of destruction in 2020. But I got news for the enemy that you are still standing. I am still standing. We are still praising God 
world in 2021, God is still with us and nothing can stop us because if my God is for me, who can ever be against me? God is with you in 2021 and nothing is going to stop you because God is beside you and by the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit goes before you. There is tremendous power that is inside of you. It's locked up inside of you. There is some dunamis power that is inside of you. And through that power of the Holy Spirit, you will step into everything that God has for your life. The enemy can't stop you. He thought that he could stop you. He thought that he could take you out. But there is nothing that's going to stop you from stepping into the purpose and destiny that God has for your life. Here is Paul. The soldiers wanted to kill the prisoners so that they don't escape. But one stands up. God is about to bring you favor in the season. God is about to bring you favor. Others may be against you, but there will be one that will stand up for you. There will be one that will speak up for you. Because God will send the right person into your life. That will bring, uh, that will, that will be someone that will speak speak into your life, someone that will speak for you, someone that will be a defender for you. God will send that right person into your life. There's nothing that gonna, that's going to stop you. There's absolutely, you, you've come too far to turn around right now. You've come too far to quit right now. There's nothing that's going to stop you. You see, the ship broke up. There, there was a huge wreckage, but even as they were in the water, they grabbed onto the planks. You see, the planks made it. Uh, there was nothing that was going to stop the will of God for Paul's life. God said to Paul, Paul, you're going to make it. Paul, you will go and you will stand trial. I'm telling you today that you are going to make it. It may seem like a dead situation, but God is about to resurrect some things in your life. I speak over your life today, the Zoe kind of life uh, from heaven that is coming over your life right now, that is coming over dead situations right now. There is a turnaround that is taking place in your finances. There is a turnaround that is taking place in your job. There is a turnaround that is taking place in your marriage. There is a turnaround that is taking place in your body. That sickness is leaving in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Those finances are coming to you in the name of Jesus. I speak life over your marriage. I speak life over your body. I speak life and open doors in your life. I speak that every impossibility is becoming possible in the mighty name of Jesus. There is something supernatural that's taking place. God has given his word. It's up to you and I to stand on the word of God because you're going to get to your purpose. You're going to get to where God is taking you. You see, Paul made it to Rome. The enemy thought he will take him out. The enemy thought that he will take you out, but you're going to make it. I said you're going to make it. You've made it already. You've actually more than made it. You didn't just go through 2020, but you came into 2021 learning some lessons. You are now stronger than before. You have so much strength. You have so much ability because God brought you through. You made it and so much more in and through 2020 into 2021. There's nothing that is stopping you. Romans 8 and verse 38 says, And I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life. There is nothing that is separate, that's going to separate you from the purpose and the destiny that God has for your life. 
neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither our fears for today, nor our worries about tomorrow, not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. Nothing can separate me from the one who is standing with me. Absolutely nothing. There is nothing that can separate you from the, the God most high. Your God that is, that is standing with you in the season, that stood with you in 2020 and is still standing with you in 2021. You are going to make it. You're going to get through this and you're going to step into the promises and the victories and the breakthroughs and the miracles that God has for your life. There's nothing that's going to stop you from the plan and the purpose that God has for you. You've made it. You've made it. Come on, somebody say that with me. You've made it. Come on, won't you give God some praise? Won't you lift up the name of Jesus? Praise Him because you've made it. You've made it through 2020. You've made it through the most difficult of times. And you have stepped into 2021, the year of God's release. You're going to start to experience that limitations are coming off. You're going to start to experience the unlimited presence of God and the unlimited blessings of God. There is is some openings that is taking place. I speak it into the atmosphere right now. God is doing supernatural. Won't you receive it right now? Won't you just lift up your hands towards heaven and start to receive those breakthroughs? Start to receive healing in your body. Start to experience. Start to just, just receive those answers that you are trusting God for. Receive that deliverance in your body. Receive deliverance from that addiction right now. I speak it in the mighty name of Jesus there is a release of the anointing of God in this place there is a release of God's anointing over the waves right now in the name of Jesus I speak it over your life. There's such an anointing in this place right now. There is so, so much anointing in this place that, that's, that's, it's busy working right now. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is working right now. It's touching somebody's life that is tuning in right now. It's ministering over you. It's encouraging somebody. It is turning your life around. Somebody that wanted to commit suicide and wanted to quit. It's touching your life. The anointing of God Almighty is touching your life life right now. The fire of the Holy Spirit is coming upon you. Won't you receive your healing? Won't you receive your breakthrough and your miracle right now? It's coming upon your life. I speak it. Come on, somebody praise his name. Lift up the name of Jesus. Receive your breakthrough. Receive that answer. Receive that miracle right now in the name of Jesus. It's happening right now. It's happening right now. Won't you just receive it? Lift up your hands towards heaven and just receive that breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus. I know that 2020 was hard, but I'm letting you know that 2020 was not a catastrophe, but 2020 just made you stronger so that you can get through some even greater Goliaths, some even greater situations. God had been preparing you because there will be some times that will be even more difficult than what you went through in 2020 that you will get through because that was your classroom. God has done something supernatural. God has used. You see, God took what the enemy meant for bad and turned it for good over your life. If you're not standing already, won't you stand to your feet as we get ready to close? Paul learned some lessons. He found people that would feed him. He found that God's presence is beside him. And he found that nothing will stop him from the will of God over his life. I pronounce that and declare that over your life today, that nothing's going to stop you from stepping into the will of God for your life. Nothing's going to stop you from stepping into the purpose. Nothing's going to stop you from stepping into the promises that God has for your life. Father, I come to you in Jesus' name right now. Lord, I thank you for your presence in this place. I thank you, Lord, for your presence that's going over the airwaves, your anointing that's touching lives right now. I thank you, Father, that under the sound of my voice, miracles are taking place. 
that father you already have started ministering to people even as I've been speaking your word I thank you father right now that people will never be the same again I thank you father that faith is arising I thank you father that there is a boldness that is arising I thank you father for your word says that we are more than conquerors I thank you Lord for that person that is in the dire situation right now that you are ministering father right now you are ministering into that situation father that person is battling with depression and anxiety I thank you father right now that their spirits are being uplifted that addiction is being broken right now in the name of Jesus I thank you father God that we've made it through 2020 and we are about to step into every plan that you have for us we are about to step into the purpose we are about to experience the victory that you have for us I speak it into being right now in the mighty name of Jesus and all of God's people said a mighty and big amen I don't want to close the service this morning without